Hello, and welcome back to Brigador. Um, I'm your host, the Social Solid System, and we are moving on with the campaign. I don't know why I said that with that inflection. That was weird. I, today's a weird day. Uh, Alright, what are we doing? New feeling. 05. Contract. Removal of four target vehicles. Opposition moderate loyalist. Novo ex exert Exercito de, de Povo, hereafter, hereafter NEP, is reeling from the death of Great Leader and unexpected SNC contract activity all over Solo Nobre. Despite being an army of conscripts, their discipline and training is strong. The SNC would only have a matter of hours before the NEP re reorganizes in force. Your mission is part of coordinated disruption of that reorganization. Remove, remove the designated command vehicles and forwarded servers occupying Linshotten, a small farm town, and Necropolis District. Necropolis District, that's a interesting way of saying uh, big fuck off graveyard. The SNC's development goals for Solo Nobre depend on keeping the local government forces in disarray as long as possible. Purchase slower and acquisitions from British sales. Uh, what was that? In ref that was referring to the NEP. Yeah. Okay, uh, what do we got? So we've got four this time. Um, all right, well, we'll be trying each one. Uh, Graf's Huss is armed with a Bishop 140 millimeter cannon and an Otomo 120 or 20 megawatt laser with a smoke projector for defense. This loadout is a brawler, extremely loud, extremely high single target and area of effect damage. Once the battle starts, it won't end until one side is dead. I don't think this is the same one I was running last time, was it? I've run this one before. I don't think I've run the other three. All right. I've played a, played a bit of freelance and, um, wow, that is not a lot of ammo. Um, in freelance, it's definitely, uh, oh, wow. Okay, I didn't really mean to do that, but I guess we're starting. Holy shit. I can just hold down the laser, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm not even looking at my health. I don't want to know. Okay, I lived. Somehow. Um, this thing is very slow. It still rotates quite quickly, um, but for an A-grab, it's quite slow. I kind of like this laser thing. We'll have to look for it in the freelance mode. very strong, although obviously the ammo is limited. It's interesting, the laser like sort of starts spread out and slowly focuses. Oh god, that was one of the bombs. That was darn lucky. I am just pissing everyone off today. Oh god, I'm out of laser. Um, wait, go back. Pick up that ammo. I desperately need it. Okay. Oh god. Oh wow. Okay. Oof. All right. Uh, let me see if I can redo that a little bit less crazily. <sighs> now that I know what I'm actually working with, it should be hopefully a little bit easier. I think this thing is kind of squishy. Um, and obviously, I need to keep up 
better eye on ammo. It does seem like my turning speed slows down when I'm firing the laser, but I could just be imagining that. I don't know, those guns sound on the small mech sound awfully scary. I think in reality they're not that bad. I'm already at low on ammo, of course. But I gotta aim this laser better. Whoop, that almost killed me. Okay, um, listen. Somebody needs to give me some ammo real quick. Sweet. Alright. Took down the power for at least one district. Um, well, it looks like I got both substations, actually. Uh, but I really need some ammo, please. Don't even want to waste the ammo to shoot this ammo depot because I have so little. Okay, that's a bomb. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck! Oh god, help me. I have no ammo. Someone please help me. Everybody come over here. So I can get you all at once. Barely was able to fire in time. Fuck. Now I'm screwed. Yep, no ammo. And they know where I am. And the alarms, yep. Ooh, alright, this is getting hard. Um, I'm not sure how to change my technique, though. Other than to, you know, not run out of ammo. Or maybe I just need to focus my efforts on just killing the four target vehicles and then just get out as soon as possible. Oops. Once again, unintentional. And I pissed everyone off. The upside of this is that um, pretty much guarantees that all my ammo will hit someone. Also means I'll die. Come on. I'm really curious why this takes so long to load. Some of the freelance missions take like more than a minute.
Oops. No. Okay. We even got the substations with that, which is great. Um, now we, let me get this calm tower. Not too low on ammo. There's definitely an ammo problem on this map in general. God, you, uh, I, there was ammo there and then it disappeared immediately. Like the game didn't want me to have it. Like I blew it up, which doesn't seem... Oh, fuck. I didn't recognize that was the gas station because the lights were off. Whoopsie. I like how the picture for the, for the mission is that bomb in the graveyard. <laughs> Stealthy approach instead, or get everybody to funnel here. That's pretty effective, I would say. Wait for it. Wait for it. Not too bad. Not too bad. All right. I really need a better anti-personnel weapon. Something that doesn't cost quite so much to fire. And that can deal with these small mechs more cheaply as well. thing down. Help my future self out. Keep reloading. However much I can get out of this. Let's go take this guy out over here. Not bump into gas station again. Pretty good. All right, that could have gone worse. Good on health, good on ammo. Objectives are almost done. It's not the same. Well, whatever. I don't technically need to do that, but I just sort of want to. Okay, this was a mistake. Nobody is surprised that I made a dumb mistake. Ouch. 
Okay. Got one more captain to kill. It's down this way. I mean, I have to do that. I don't know where I am. Alright. Now let's get out of here before I accidentally kill myself. Oh, there's one up there as well. Okay. Yeah, this thing is slow as sin, though. Okay, that was difficult. Um, I don't particularly love A grabs. This one's very slow. Uh, and with these two particular guns, it's tricky. Um, if I were building the loadout, it would definitely not have both those guns. It would have some high capacity machine gun instead of the laser, probably. Um, you know what? Uh, we're just that I had to do that so many times that uh, we're just that's gonna be all of the mission that we do for this episode but it's time for some lore all right mechs mechs take considerably more maintenance than anything on wheels or treads but when the war council gets to see a, a new heavy legs unit put their foot straight through the top of a tank it shakes the part of their brain that worries about money I like to think the first mech field test was sort of like when the military first got real hot and bothered for helicopters back on Earth. They want, this, they want the slick new stuff. Who cares what it costs? Mechs are the standard bearers, the cavalry, and the commanders all in one. Being taller means overlapping fields of fire with shorter vehicles, better top kill and defilade? I don't know that word. Top kill and defilade and less trouble with comms in dense urban areas on account of the antenna height. Put them hold down, kneeling, and you've got a great defensive fire, perfect for covering infantry and power suits. Despite how long mechs have played an active role in combat and police work, there's a sentiment of the brass that still argues against them hard. There's a segment of the brass that still argues against, argues against them hard. The cursor man. There are walking targets that are too expensive to maintain and damage roads and infrastructure because they don't broadly distribute their weight. <laughs> okay, maybe some of that's true, but bureaucrats don't know what a psych out it is to get stared down by a heavy. That gets you the uh, gets you that fear deep in deep in your reptile brain, sympathetic nervous system response. Also, the part about that also the part that worries about money. <laughs> I enjoy that. Uh, all right, pretty good. Um, on the next episode, we will do the next version of this mission. We will see what we get. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.